All right, so today we're going to look at collecting like terms. So in the MCAT, we have to be able to do everything up to level six of the curriculum in algebra, which is quite a big lot of work. So I'm going to start right from the beginning and go through a certain amount of topics and hopefully you'll find them very useful. I'm going to link a um, worksheet site off the internet into my uh, description so that you can go there and practice some of it. Okay, so starting with collecting like terms. So we have to learn about like terms. Like terms sounds like a really funny thing to call something. <coughs> but what we're saying is that there are variables, there are terms that actually are like because of their variable maker. So what's a variable? A variable is a letter that could stand for a number. So it doesn't have to stand for a number. And a lot of the things we do in algebra, they just we just work with the letters. But at all times, we could substitute a number in and therefore find a value for it. So the value would vary depending on what the variable has um, as its number equivalent. Okay, so collecting like terms. So if we have A plus A, quite often when you learnt this way back, people said an apple plus an apple, what have you got? So A stands for... 1a, but we don't write the 1. Alright, that's a bit of a waste of time. If there's nothing in front of a letter, then there's one of them. So 1a plus 1a equals 2a, two apples. No problems there. Alright, we can only add apples to apples. So therefore, in that same idea, when we're talking about variables, we have to actually restrict it to exactly the same letter makeup. The one thing that they do try to trick you with is that the letter makeup can be in any order. Traditionally, we write them in alphabetical order, but if they're not in alphabetical order, they're still the same. So if we had four pretty girls plus three grumpy peanuts, then the grumpy peanuts and the pretty girls, they're actually just PG. So it's the same as saying 4PG plus 3PG. That makes 7PG. All right? So I've alpha, I haven't alphabetized this. So here mm -hmm. it's an alphabetical order. Here it's not. It doesn't matter what order it's in. Okay? So any time that we have more than two terms, we have to look for the terms that are alike. And that's where the collecting part comes in. So maybe we've got... 5a minus 2b plus 6a plus 5b. So the like ones here are 5a and 6a and negative 2b and plus 5b. So if we collect them and put them together in the same place, we've got in this sign goes with 6a. So 5a plus 6a. 5a plus 6a, this sign goes with 2b, and this sign goes with, so the sign goes with the term. Right, now that we've got that done, we just treat them as 5 apples plus 6 apples equals 11 apples. I didn't have 2 bananas, and then somebody gave me 5 bananas, so it cancels out. And it gives me three bananas. It doesn't really make a lot of sense when we're talking about bananas and negatives. It's hard to have a negative amount of bananas, but that's what we do. We group them up. So that's our collecting part. Sometimes we don't need to actually write that line. We can just see it. But the trick is remembering that the sign goes with what follows it. Now, the really tricky part here is that they try to, again, trick us. They like to trick. And they say 5a squared plus 6a equals what? And you want to say there's lots of apples here going on, but it's not. This one here is square apples, and this one here is round apples. So we can't add these together. They're not like terms. So our answer, in fact, would just be this. So when we are collecting our like terms, we need to make sure they're exactly the same. So if one's got a squared, the other one has to have a squared to be able to add to it. If one's, so 
5a squared b plus 4b squared minus 2a squared b plus 3. When we look for the like terms here, it's just this one and this one. This one doesn't have any a squareds and it's a b squared anyway. This one hasn't got any a's and b's, so it's a term all by itself. So we got 3a squared b plus 4b squared plus 3. Okay, so look for that worksheet and have a go.